So we're going to be diving into Deadwater Saloon, dive into the Wild West as a saloon owner in a Vault Out Frontier Town. Uh, customize your character and face the consequences of your choices as you forge friendships and enemies of town's folks, travelers, outlaws, and law men. Build the most famous saloon in the territory or be overwhelmed and destroyed. Welcome, everybody. This is developed by Creative Storm Entertainment and published by Creative Forge Games and also Playway SA. We took a look at this game back uh, in the demo release last year, and uh, now the release of this game is right around the corner. This game was going to be released in August, but there had been a slight delay, so you can expect this game to come out in sometime of September. With that being said, um, hopefully this video, or these videos, I should say, uh, will give you an idea what to expect. Now, this is like a tycoon management simulation uh, RPG kind of game where choices will matter and we will be able to run our own saloon if you've never seen this game definitely stick around it is going to be a little bit of doozy here in the first episode i will admit because there's a lot of reading and there's a lot of learning but um i think it's pretty brilliant we had a lot of fun uh during our demo time i want to say a special thank you to the publishers and the pu uh, dev team for giving me a key to check this out for all of you and uh yes yeah, so a special thank you to the dev really do appreciate that um with that being said if you would like to see this turn into a series here on the channel you gotta let me know right now either comment down below and if you're not a commenter hit the like button and then the like button will let me know if you want to see more denwater saloon other than that uh you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel because we would love to have you i pr i i put out videos every single day and stream quite a bit here on the channel so yeah <laughs> we got all different kinds of games here it's going to jump into a new game so very extensive right on the um uh, character creation right uh i'm gonna just go with cans and this gentleman will obviously be alone what town and what is what town do we live in and what is the saloon that we run in so we run in canstopia that's obviously the town's name and the saloon i don't even know what we're gonna do for the saloon i'll come back to that a uh, portrait for us what would be good? I don't know. What's going to be the thing that, that puts us, that, that makes us stand out? Or maybe that looks a lot like us. I might have to change where my camera is or where my face is for this game. I haven't really figured out where exactly I go. But I'm kind of thinking, I don't know. Uh, do we have a guy with a big forehead? Yeah, I guess we do. We do, we do. Uh, so we can be handsome. We can be calm. We can be captivating. We can be compassionate. We can be devious. And we can be analytic. Or daring so there's a lot of things that you can be uh, and just so you know handsome uh, having gotten by your entire life on good looks and charms a wealthy admirer grants you title to a saloon out west confident that you have what it takes to manage and play host to what sures to be a fine establishment it's basically the backstory of what you're gonna have for your character here and also some traits that will happen. So uh, save your uh, fare you would get plus 30 with that right um, and then you would get seduction yeah, uh, you can kind of expect and kind of see what you're going to be getting into here with some of these traits and things like that. For instance, you have abstraction, gambling, uh, lit, lit, oh, geez, uh, like uh, law, law, right? Lit, lit, Jesus Christ, litigate, litigate, litigation, litigation, you could say. Um, so you can sue, right? The, the contribution to suing somebody, uh, business purchases, things like that. Um, uh, muscles, muscles, obviously, sneakiness, uh, cooking, finances, medicine, uh, again, save your fare, um, used to contribute to befriend people, um, and things like that. There's a lot, it's a pretty deep game, guys. It's a pretty deep game. There's theology, where it cont uh, contributes to proposes success roles, staff wages, import costs. There's the drama, which has all different kinds of things. Opium revenue, like I, like I said, you're going to see a lot of different things. Opium. <laughs> Leadership. Uh, mixology and believe it or not seduction where your brothel revenue could go up yes a brothel now if we have anything if we want to change how the game is for its entirety uh, you can have an economy have it at normal suspicion normal uh, townspeople pleasant town normal stress normal and pretty much what we're going to do is just keep everything as default um, at least when it comes to uh, the gameplay show player avatar I, I guess I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what the heck that means, but 
uh, yeah, show player avatar. Now, I believe this game is a is a is a beta, or at least the comp, the version that we're on is a beta. And uh, so, whatever you see in today's video, or for the next few videos, maybe for the next month, depending on if this turns into a series, please do take care. Like honestly, take care on it because it's not a full fledged version of the game. I really don't know what kind of person I want to be, whether I want to be handsome, calm, captive, uh, cap captivating, compassionate, uh, devious, analytic, or daring. Kind of interested in this, but the theology is something I don't think I would want to do. Theology used in events and townspeople interactions contra uh, contra uh, contribute to proposed success roles. roles. Staff wages slash import costs decrease with each point. Now, that's not a bad idea. A bad idea. This definitely would be a way if you wanted to go for medicine. Chance of addiction, disease, decrease with each point. That seems pretty good. Contributes to murder success rolls. That is insane. I guess you get better murder rates if you are compassionate. There is devious. Devious is mixology and litiga uh, litigation, so to speak, right? Um, analytic, that would really be kind of like me in real life. You would get abstraction. Uh, which would be contributes to investigation if you needed to investigate research time, which not bad actually. Research time is decreased. Huh. Finances um, contributes to blackmailing in case you want to blackmail someone or supply purchase costs decrease. I kind of like that. I do kind of like that. What's daring? Gambling and muscle. Uh, calm is cooking and sneaky. Okay. Captivating is leadership and drama. Opium revenue. I don't know. This is a very weird one. I'm kind of thinking analytic. I'm going to go analytic. Yeah. Um, you can see where the replayability in this game definitely falls. Now, we have 40 points to spend. Uh, but as you can see, our abstraction is already set at 40. And our uh, finances is set at 40 as well. Now, anything else I want to do? Well, yeah, I guess so. Um, litigation, business purchases, cost decrease with each point. Sounds pretty good if we want to buy other, other businesses. So maybe we put 10 in there. Muscle, right? Uh, contributes to the saloon muscle rating. I guess if someone tries to come over and bullies us, I'm sorry, my eye is like really like, uh, burning right now. Build costs reduce each point as well. That doesn't sound bad also. Hmm. 20 more points. Seduction. I mean, come on. <laughs> romancing other people romancing people in general that could really help in dialogue uh da, 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 da. cooking i guess food revenue would be increased i guess if we wanted to go for the food uh kind of run there i don't know gambling re revenue if we wanted to go that way so we really should like think about what to choose as far as like what revenue right um are we gonna be like a brothel uh are we gonna be a alcohol right are we gonna be uh, opium. Are we going to be cooking, you know, a food revenue now, obviously, or gambling, even gambling, you know, gambling doesn't seem too bad. It doesn't, I mean, it's not a straight arrow, but it's also, um, you know, it's back in the old days. We shouldn't really fuss about that now, should we gambling? Maybe gambling. What's, what's, what's it again? Contributes to entice. Okay. Okay. I think that's better. So I had to get my glasses on there now. Uh, gambling revenue uh, and contributes to entice success roles, which is kind of interesting in itself. Leadership wouldn't be too bad. Your contribute to saloon services rating, I guess, would be good. Your upkeep cost would be decreased. And then it would also be high chance if we were to get into a duel. I might put five into leadership. And I might... Oh, mixology would be kind of fun now, wouldn't it? Let's go into gambling for 20 and then our last five we'll put into cooking right yeah cooking there we go i think that's what we're gonna do the gypsy saloon please no horse saloon the gem theater the white elephant the buckhorn saloon the fire water the deadfall the everything uh what about the forehead saloon absolutely you already know okay start it up well, a new beginning. You are dropped off by a wagon in front of a large red building in the middle of nowhere. Walking inside, you breathe in the musty smell and wonder who is more insane. The man who put up such a large structure in the middle of nowhere, or the one who will manage it. There are a few good things going for this place, however. A well-packed road passes right outside your building, and there are rumors that a railroad track will be coming by soon as well. 
There's even a well with a fresh water just a few paces away. Perhaps this could be the spot of a booming town one day, with a bustling main street and a train station bringing in supplies and travelers. And maybe, just maybe, you and your saloon will survive long enough to see it happen. All right, so welcome to the Dead Water Saloon tutorial. It is very dark, don't worry about that. We'll get past that here in a bit. Here we will be brief introduction to the game and its mechanics. Note that when the tutorial has finished, there will be additional pop-ups that will occasionally come up offering tips and hints. Uh, like I said, this is gonna be a little in depth here. So hold on tight, cause there's gonna be a lot to learn and a lot to know, right? First things first, do a little bit of tutorial, the WASD. Above you will find your personal stats, your health, your stress, your action points in town's opinion, all in very important, th that are very important things to monitor right up here. In particular, you monitor your health and excuse me, what? In particular, monitor your health and stress as typo, typo, if you're watching this devs. Stress, as both will lead to death if they get too low. Above you will find your saloon stats, your total cash, daily profit slash loss, saloon capacity, and saloon storage will all give you hints with regards to what to build next and how to manage your saloon. Manage your cash carefully, especially early on, until you start getting enough customers to uh, <clears throat> sustain your operation. To, to the side here, you will find your booze and food inventory. Booze and food can be purchased in crates of 200 from local businesses as they are built in your town. You will need to wait a few hours for a trapper to come to your town before purchasing any booze or food, though. I'm, I'm blocking it a little bit, but here are your saloon ratings. Your overall saloon rating is scored by the following subsection. Fame, refinement, entertainment, service, drinks, food, and muscle. All right here. All a lot and very important, so that's kind of cool. Your overall saloon rating helps determine the chances of a customer deciding to frequent your saloon or not. This is your build panel here, and you can see your view toggle button, your floor toggle button, and your build button, edit button, erase button, and customer access button. Your view toggle button is on the panel. Click this, all right, so there's our view. Ah, look at that. Look at that, isn't that great? I know, again, it's, it's very dark, don't worry. It won't be permanent, but here's gonna be our saloon eventually. Your build icon is also on this panel. Let's click the build. There we go. Look at all this stuff. Yeah, you can see items available to build below. We suggest building in barrel or trunk to increase storage, but you can choose to build whatever you want. Okay, so they recommend a barrel or a trunk. And guess what? We're going to do what they recommend. So we're going to get a trunk in. Yeah. So now place an item anywhere in your saloon. An item must be on the floor and not intersecting with any wall or piece of furniture. Uh, and so on. Carpets can be placed under items and smaller lighting objects such as candles or lamps can be placed on furniture surfaces. Okay, so question though, uh, rotation. How in the world do you actually rotate? Okay, that's not how you rotate. <laughs> Let's see here. Maybe it will tell us. Um, X, C, there we go. Hit the C button, everybody. I guess that's a little bit of rotation. We'll place that right there. I would prefer to see that rotation first before placing it down. Also, know for the next time that you can also rotate. I love how it says this. For the next time, you can also rotate while using. You are placing uh, them by using Z or C. You can use Shift to snap them. Okay, that's good. But there's a snap button. That's it for now. We will continue giving you tips and advice as you open new screens or as situations develop with your character or the town. But you are now free to explore Deadwater Saloon and build the best damn saloon in the wild, wild west. Oh, God. So welcome. Here we go. Brighten up. Wake up. It's time to get spicy, right? Now, is, ta is time actually going? It is 7 a.m. up here, but I don't know if time is... Oh, my God. Going. So, the trapper. A shanty is being constructed right alongside your saloon. It would seem a roughly clothed tra trapper. A true western pathfinder has moved into town to provide their goods. Be sure to check their wages once they open for business. They tend to sell cheap alcohol and wild game so that's going to be right here uh right here is going to be our first visitor of the town i guess our first person that we can probably use it's going to be blythe 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 king blythe king and some of the cool things about this is we can actually in the future purchase the business from her or we can marry uh marry her kind of romance her get in love yeah, so there's a ton of things that you can do in this game that we just have not even scratched the surface with. 
Now, you take a look at the very, very top here. We can we can negotiate and have dialogue. I'm going to pause the game real quick. You can negotiate and have dialogue with people about four times a day, at least for right now. Now, the town opinion of us, it's very low. I mean, it's four, right? I mean, that's good, right? Uh, but there's not really a town here to even give us an opinion as it is. We spent two, 200. We spent $2.98 on our trunk, so that is what it is. We have $800 to start with. And a couple things that are missing is we are missing uh, a place to serve drinks. So recipe. We have not researched a recipe. We have not hired a barkeep. And a bar has not been built and there's no stock. So uh, I, I would like to get booze in, right? Booze. Food. At least food. We have a little bit of skill in food, right? So getting food in would be nice. Gambling in the future would be nice. Uh, nothing being researched right now. A new business has been built, which is obviously something we already looked at. So let's let's click on some of these events. A new business. A trapper offering crude liquor in raw game for sale. We can go ahead and talk to her since we, you know, we don't need to save our interactions for today. It's one person. There's nobody else knocking down on our doors. So if we talk to her and say hello, um, we can <laughs> remove her from the saloon. We can rob her. A chance raises suspicions of plus 300. But if we succeed, we get $94. So we can, as soon as she's building up her business, hold her at gunpoint. Say, lady, give me $94 and get the hell on right no we're not going to do that we can challenge her to a duel and uh, we can also murder her as well which again we're not going to do we can investigate we can sue her uh, we can blackmail her and we can uh, frame her if we want to but i think honestly befriending her uh being nice to her is probably the best thing to do because if we befriend her i'm assuming you can divorce her <laughs> um I'm assuming if we befriend her, she'll get a better opinion about us, right? Better opinion means maybe discount on the food and whatnot. So if you take a look over here, this is the wealth rating. So customers with higher wealth will purchase more expensive food and drinks. They have been researched. Then you have the overall opinion of us, I guess of us, right? Yeah, of us, which is zero, neutral. And capability, compatibility in marriage. Marrying this person would increase stress six points per day. <laughs> so your stress will go up believe it or not if you are and if you do get married in this game depending on the person i guess now the attributes would be eight litigation 16 uh, medication 16 uh seduction and added to your attributes with a successful marriage proposal would be those you can also see uh, town suspicion so this character has no suspicion towards us so the character will run out of town or uh, or arrested if suspicion becomes high so there's no suspicion towards this character at all interaction in inavail availability but i think if we can try to do this this would be good i will use this so you decide to befriend blythe king you go over to blythe king and then you say hey Chum with me about the growing market out east. Finances plus four, saver fair plus three. That would equal about 43% chance, I guess. Or will you offer them some money to like you? That would be weird. Um, so I think I'm gonna say chum, chum them up. Like they moved in, you know, we can say, hey, the, the market growing out at east, you know, see how that goes. Your attempt to befriend was a success. Well, good. So Blythe King has a plus 20 uh, opinion about us. Tricks King Tabitha. That's the, I think, the title, right? Tabitha King um, opinion. Oh, wait, maybe Tricks King. What the heck is Tricks King and Tabitha King? Maybe that's uh, siblings or, or family members. But, hey, Blythe King, at least, likes us plus 20. So, you know, trying to chip in and be like, you know, would you like to give me a discount on some food? Right? I'm building a saloon over here. Okay, let's go into some research. Let's do some research. Now, food over booze, right? I think food is going to be better for us because of just our attributes. So we can get dill pickles in. We can get celery in. Very terrible. Just like, what the heck, right? We got to do it regardless. So this is going to take eight hours to do. And our saloon food rating will increase by one. And I guess it will cost us 20 cents. So cost without bonuses. This can be sold for customers with a wealth rating of one so any customer that has a wealth rating of one it can be sold dill pickles so we'll do that for eight hours that will be that we can click on the saloon and see everything about the saloon here you can see the daily drinks you can see the lifetime drinks food cigars coffee opium brothel gambling other staff costs inventory all this stuff you can even see your weapon inventory here down at the bottom now the overall fame i guess is only 39 which i i, I i'm assuming is not good I guess 39, uh, not, not, not good at all. 
you can see services, drinks, food, muscle, and all this stuff basically to kind of break us down even more if we want to look at that. The storage is 250, and the capacity, I guess, is we can have about 46 uh, patrons in here if we wanted to. Our firepower is nothing, so if somebody wanted to come and get us, they can definitely come and get us. We have no bodies. <laughs> bodies stored, so murdering a townsperson will resort in their body being stored in your saloon until, depo and, until it's uh, disposed of. The pig farm, when built, will allow you to dispose bodies. Undisposed bodies will increase town suspicion each and every day. Okay. Um, a new house has also been built, which is the King family. So I guess there you go. Trix King and Tabitha King, which were the other people that we did not get a good opinion of uh, when we talked to Blythe. They do exist, and they are in this town. So Trix King um, does not really have a good opinion towards us, but our marriage compatibility looks pretty spicy at 81 percent now if we were to marry trix king i guess you could say that our stress would decrease six per day right abstraction would be 17 muscle would be six and sneakiness would be 18 which would be kind of cool if i could befriend this person as well i would love to do that i don't think it's going to be good we can Put our hands out there, you know, broach on legal ways to cut corners and get ahead of financially. Uh, litigation and save or fair, not good, but I'll give it a try. I doubt it's going to work. Your attempt has been, uh, yeah, failed. And there goes one of our, uh, you know, daily, uh, you know, daily things there. That's all right. Let's go see Tabitha. Well, hello, Tabitha. Tabitha overall is friendly towards us. And her marriage compatibility is good. Now, she would give us 8 medicine and 19 sneakiness. Not the best, but she would decrease our stress 6 per day, which is kind of good. Uh, let's see if we can befriend her. No, not going to happen either. I'm going to do it anyways because, I mean, there's nobody else to talk to, I don't think. So, offer them uh, a meal. A meal that we don't have anyways, right? All right. Oh, my lord. So, it looks like it looks like you still haven't yet hired any staff for your saloon. From the staff screen, you can either hire staff that live in your town, very few at first, or you can import a staff member from out of town by using the tabs on the side. Remember, out of town, town hires make it about a day or so before they arrive at your saloon. So in this case, I wonder if we can just say, can I hire some of the kings to come here? Is that possible? Rooney King? That's a different king, or is that like part of the kings? Uh, you could be our cook. My man, where are you at? Where do you actually... That We could have a cook, a server, a bouncer, a cook, a barkeeper, and a barkeep. Again, I think I'm going to do just... I'm going to stay away from the bar just for a sec. Since we are, like, you know, worrying about... Um, oh, I see. Is this, is, so is this outside of the town? These are outsiders. These are outsiders, and these are insiders. So there's no one here inside the town that is willing to work for us. So we have to take it from out the outside. Um, there's only two cooks. We have Tiffany and Rogers, and we have Rooney King, who is known in relation to the other kings. But Rooney King seems to be, uh, prepares food, contributes to the food rating. Very good. Contributions. Uh, this is the current and maximum possible skill. So his current skill is four out of 18. I mean, they're all pretty low. And he would require, what, $3.86 86, or 80 cents a day? Daily wage and theology attribute reducing cost minus five. But cost to import him would be $72. So I have to import him for $72 and then I have to pay him $3 a day. We have to do it. So we're going to go ahead and hire. So now this is an action point. Now I think the action point is part of the dialogue. Yeah, part of the, part of the dialogue. So I will only be able to do this one time. I'm kind of regretting now my, uh, my, my dialogues with the kings early on. So we have a cook now. All right, so with the cook being there, uh, I guess one thing that we could do also is uh, start building what is need to be. So we have uh, structure, utilities, entertainment, decor, furniture, lighting, a lot of different things, really. Um, let's see here. Floor, doorway, window, stairs. No, no, no. We don't need any stairs right now. If anything, just a utility. We have a kitchen shelf, a back room shelf, a stove, uh, a stove stew, a stove cast iron. I don't even know. Oh, is this sleeping bag sacks? Does this give us... What is this? Does this give us um, descriptions? Yeah. Cooking item. Okay, yeah. Cooking item. Stove, wood. I mean, would it be bad to have a cast iron stove? 
I mean, the more money, it would, it does cost more money, but at least, like, it should be good, right? So, uh, let's go ahead and kind of rotate this, maybe, or put this on some sort of a back. You know what? Hang on a sec. Let's actually build this up first. Let's go with structures, and let's go with a room. Can we do that? So, if we were to build this out, can we build this out, right? And then make this, there you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make this. A room. Did I do that right? <laughs> the camera in this game is a little funky. Did I do that right? I hope I did that right. Um, actually, you know what? I, I don't really like what I did there now thinking about it. What if I just had like a back room? And then can I get rid of that? Yeah. Erase, right? Erase. There we go. And then get rid of that. No, no, get rid of that. There we go. Okay, and then right here, maybe go ahead and like slap in a door. A doorway or a door? I guess the only option I have is a door. So we'll put the door in right there. Now, um, let's see here. $725 is all we have. We want to put a stove back there, correct? I guess so, right? We're learning as we go. This is all like, you know, this is going to be a, an entire learning process. Kitchen shelf, right? Kitchen shelf. This is 200 for the back room shelf, and this is 200 for the kitchen shelf. So this does give us quite a bit of shelving or inventory space. So we'll go ahead and do that. Other than that, let's see here. Cutting table. What does cutting table do? Um, plus 10 saloon food rating. Bonus does not stack. Okay. So a cutting table. Let's put that in. Yeah, right there. I don't know if the character will actually use it. I guess we'll have to see. And then the barrels and the beer kegs are just more storage items. Uh, we have 450, so we're like really good. We're fine right now, right? Now the safe, minus 50% chance of theft from staff members. I think it might be a good investment, believe it or not, to have a safe. Who would have known, right? Yeah, so we're going to go ahead and build a safe. Place it right there in the corner cool let's see what else we have um the back bar now the bar does that give us does that do we have to have a bar to do like to serve food i don't think we do i really don't think we do um let's see here wallpaper not interested in that right yet uh, a stage a piano a gambling table we are interested in the gambling table we are we are we are decor is going to be a big deal in the future i think is if i remember correctly um a spittoon is that what they spit in like uh like they're they're chewing all that jesus it's a little disgusting is that what that is or is that something else um let's see here a table with a cloth has plus four refinement a table without a cloth would be plus two refinement uh and they're the same amount of money so yeah you, you probably want to go for for that <laughs> table with the cloth why wouldn't you same amount of money do it okay so where do i want to put this maybe right here put one right there maybe add this right there and uh maybe even right there and then let's go ahead and add some chairs same with this you're looking at more refinement so six dollars and thirty cents i think these should actually be changed these numbers here because there's no point of buying this one if it's plus two refinement and then this is the same price, but more refinement. Um, let's see here. Chair light. Okay. Plus four refinement. Again, I will go with the refinement. And one thing that I'm not doing early on is I'm not having like... Um, I guess one chair is fine, right? I'm not having... Bedrooms yet? Like, I'm not ready for bedrooms. I just want to, like, make a business and see where we go first, right? Obviously. Now, I could hold shift to snap this in, right? So let's try that mechanic. Ah, there we go. So it does snap it in. I like it. Snap it in. Whoops. Too far on that one. Right there. There we go. Then come over here. Do the same thing. And this, I guess, will help our overall rating for our saloon, yeah? Now, how much money do we have? 600. And I don't know how much money it's going to cost to bring in, like, food and, and all this stuff. 
Which, by the way, if we take a look here, it looks like they are ready and they are up and going. So, uh, game, available. $7, available three uh, for serving at your saloon. Restock when low. I guess we can do that. Purchase that, right? 200 game. Can we can we talk to this? Not enough action points. Ah, I see. <laughs> now I'm really regretting my action points. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, all right. That's fine. It is going into 6 p.m. now. It's going to get very, very dark. Oh, my Lord, it's dark in here. I guess one way to, uh, like... To, to try to get that out of the way is maybe add some freaking lights. Yeah, lighting. Now we could have a nice fireplace, some nice chandeliers. I do like the chandeliers. The wall scone. Yeah, I'd rather do that. Let's do a little bit of wall sconing. Right there. Gives us a little bit more light. There we go. Very good. And then maybe turn it around. Because people will want to have, eventually, uh, a nice place to be at. They're not going to want to just get going anywhere. Okay. Uh, in the back, though, maybe, and even in here, we, we still need more, more lighting. I mean, it's a candle, for God's sake. It's not going to light up the whole, whole place. I'm going to go for the cheapest one, I guess the antlers. And I'll put that bad boy, like, right there. Maybe add a antlers right there. And that gives us more lighting. So that's good. Cool. More lighting for now. All right. Let's go and unpause it. Now, I think you can, if you can, uh, you can change the game speed up there. So it is nighttime. I am going to, and there's our guy, by the way. There's cans alone. Um, we can, like, move them wherever we want and do this and that. Now, I believe our guy is going to come in. Our cook guy, our, our guy from the outside, is going to, yeah, there he is. In perfect timing. I was about to say, I think he's going to come in eventually. There he is. Uh, looks like we do have 200. Uh, did we buy the food? Oh, we did buy the food. Oh, okay. All right. So we did buy the food. Maybe that was a gift? I'm not sure. I would like to purchase more, I think. Maybe. Or get the bar in so that we can have food and brew. Maybe that's the way to go. Regardless, we're just starting out. <laughs> uh, if I do put the bar in, it's going to go right here, right? It's going to go right there. So let's take a look at that. Let's see how much it would cost us to bring in a bar. This is fairly cheap. $9.00. Nine dollars uh, plus 20 on saloon service rating. Uh, this would give us plus 20. This would give us plus 20. This would give us plus 10. I guess plus 10. And this would give us plus 10. Now, any other things, this would be 200 storage. This would be 200 storage. Four refinement, two refinement, eight refinement. Okay, so nothing too, too crazy there. I'm going to go with just the plain bar oak. Yeah, two, just the plain bar oak. And what I'll do is I'll just snap this through. Oops, out of the way, please. And we can hire ourselves a barkeeper. And if we want to, bring in some of our, some crude liquor. I'm not going to put this on a restock, though. I'm not going to put it on a restock. Um, I'd rather have food on an automatic restock than uh, liquor, right? Okay, so now let's look into our staff again. So we have the cook. Uh, good to see Cook. We can interact with our Cook. We can say, hey, what's going on? He's 100% opinion towards us. He's an ally. He's a rating of a two, you know, wealth rating. I guess there's some sort of romance there that I don't know about, but there is that. Uh, if anything, we could befriend him, uh, but he's already had a maximum opinion about us. So, yeah. Um, there's a lot of things that we can do with this person, but uh, we're not going to be doing anything right now. Let's pause time and see uh, barkeep and a server. So we want to get a barkeep and a server in. Uh, let's, sorry, let's do that. Hire from out of town again. A prostitute? No. <laughs> a croup? What is a croup? Works at the gambling, oh, I see, the gambling person. Bartender for Sonya and a bouncer. So there's no servers here, which we should have probably done in the, in the yesterday. Having a bouncer in, probably not a bad idea. So if we have Sonya, um, yeah, we'll hire Sonya. Bring it in, Sonya. Maybe a bouncer would not be a bad idea now that we're starting to get um, alcohol in. This guy would be a very expensive bouncer, but I think investing in our bouncers might help us in the long run. And we just don't have anybody that can serve it other than maybe possibly myself. So there we go. By the way, thank you, Moo Skittles, for subscribing to the channel. Now, if we take a look at research here, uh, we already got the dill pickles done. We can do pessimism. Uh, pemison, pemison, or we could do some celery. We're going to do some celery. Get the celery done, then we'll go to the pemison, and then uh, roast jackrabbit, and then all these good things. We just get that done, and cool. Uh, with our town, 
Anything else? Repair roads, clear roads, road health. You can actually see the road health, which is pretty cool. Uh, houses required one of two. Now, if we take a big, big, like, look out here. So there's the king's house, I believe. And I don't know if someone's actually building something right here right now. No. Okay. So we do have the king's house out there. We can get a better look at what businesses are still around. The trapper. What houses. The king's family house. And um, all the citizens within, which is just the kings. So I could what I could try to um, I could try to look into maybe befriending her a little bit more. Now we are missing um, a recipe. We are missing a recipe. Which once this research is done, which is in two hours, we'll go over here and get to some of this. Yeah, to the crude liquor, and we'll start researching that. So. Two hours left in our celery. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Right? Two hours. I don't know if this pauses time. I should probably go out of that. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case if it pauses time. So, I don't know. What do you guys think about this game so far? Do you think it has potential? Do you think it's pretty cool? Right? Okay. There's our research, right? Research is done. Let's switch on over to our booze and get our rock guts going. Get rock gut going. And we can finally be able to serve that. Now, our bar person, our bouncer, they won't be here until tomorrow. So I guess what we're going to do to have and to use... Oh, here they are. Actually, they're here right now. Oh, very good. Well, hello, Sonia. So there's our barkeep. And this is uh, Lenny. Lenny has a very good opinion about us. Lemmy, not Lenny. Lemmy has a very good opinion about us. And uh, Sonia has a very good opinion about us. Now, before midnight and before our interaction does uh, kind of reset and refresh... Might as well try to attempt to uh, talk to Blythe again. Uh, let's talk to Blythe and see if we can befriend Blythe a little bit more. So, you decide to befriend Blythe. Oh, shoot. You offer them some money to like you. Would it be a good investment for $50? Maybe, maybe not. But I'm going to. So, there we go. So, your attempt to befriend has succeeded. So, Blythe King uh, opinion went up by 20 and believe it or not... T uh, Tabitha and Trix King also went up by 10. We lost $50, but I think that's a good investment on our uh, neighbors if we want to be cunning, right? And, 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 and all that and have them in our back pockets. So that's very fun. So no more actions for the rest of the day. We can go ahead and just wait till 12 a.m. Once 12 a.m. comes through. Oh my God, who is this? Misty Martinez? Uh oh, what am I supposed to place bets on? Ah! wanted gambling so blythe comes to us and smoke rises from the house belonging to blythe king it has caught on fire muster whoever whoever whomever is around to bring water leadership plus 15 uh grab shovels and toss dirt into the house in the hopes of smothering the flames muscle 20 percent let the house burn down to the ground now this is all about a situation altogether but i would really like to maybe uh try my best uh, with the muscle because that's the best chance we have so hopefully our shovels will do anything but i think blythe king might actually lose her house so we end up failing that so you manage to convince a few people to gather their shovels but by the time everyone gets there it's a little too late those the house burns into the ground into a pile of ash. Blythe King is not very happy with you. And Canstopia, as an entire town, goes down in reputation. Now, I will say, why is it my fault? I tried to help. You should have a better opinion that I went over to your house and tried to do something. Yes, I know throwing dirt on it. Throwing dirt on it probably wasn't ideally. But it did happen. And I, I did make an attempt rather than I did not. Name your family disturbances. What the heck is she talking about? <laughs> okay so let's go over to here and um let's see 16 hours to get fire water let's get that going start really hammering down on our uh research now i'm gonna go ahead and fast forward time a little bit we already had one person on the horse i know you probably didn't see it but she did come by and she says what am i supposed to do there's no gambling here it's interesting. It's very interesting, right? Because it's like if I hire, if I get gambling tables in, then I'm going to have to hire the, 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 the gambler, which we are in for gambling, though. We did increase our um, our time and our skills for um, for gambling. So a miscrant drunk gets so rambunctious, uh, he jumps on top of your bar and does a jig. We let we dance along with him, which would be 10 percent drama. Be right for such sinful antics or we just let him dance. And since we have 10% on all, all of these, I'm just going to let him dance. 
So, you continue serving drinks while the drunk keeps dancing up there. Quickly, the whole bar begins clapping and stomping along. Look, there's nobody in the bar. <laughs> people shout and clap, one exclaiming, Least you know how to show people a good time. Canzalone, as myself, gets plus two fame. Canstopia increases and my stress actually decreases. So, overall, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good indeed. All right, so let's go ahead and get some staff in and see if we can hire ourselves a server. No, still no more servers. With with that being said, we have like three groups going here. So maybe this is a sign that, yeah, you should probably think about getting a blackjack table in. Especially when somebody was offering and somebody was like, how am I supposed to not, how am I supposed to play without, you know, what am I, I need a blackjack table. So Jock Edwards, uh, we will hire Jock Edwards. He will be hired and we will invest our money into at least one blackjack table. So let's go into entertainment, a gambling table for $17 or roulette or dartboard. Uh, no, 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 no. We will do this. So this is an entertainment source. And um, I always have bad luck on the roulette in real life. So I'm just going to do this. And we're going to place that bad boy right there. There we go. Cool. So the more, I don't know if you've noticed, but the more space that we use up in our saloon, the lower the capacity gets, which is realistic because like you can't just like stuff a bunch of people in here if there's a lot of items around, right? Now I am kind of refusing a little bit to add, um, ooh, hello, sir. Who are you? Monty Neal. I am kind of, um, how to say it. I am avoiding adding decorations because we need to make some money. So here's another traveler coming through. Who is this? Lucky Lockery Morris. Can we talk to him? Lockery Morris. He has a very low wealth rating, so he probably doesn't even like he's not interested in this, right? We just got oh my god, somebody with a bunch of cows. Patrice, Patrice Turner, riding through town. But look at all your cows. Who is this? <laughs> They're just travelers riding through town. So I wonder if we if we really wanted to, we could probably rob them or something. There's Blythe King. Oh, no. Blythe King, after her house, uh, really, like, just fell down to the ground. Is she coming in? I want to see uh, a rot gut in my hand. Okay, so she's very, she had a very, very stressful day. She lost her house. She's ordering booze um, and some food. It's fine. She, you know, she deserves it, right? She's had a long day. Who is this? Oh, that's our gambler. Thank you. Uh, we could talk to Blythe and be friending Blythe. Uh, maybe, <laughs> but I feel like if I befriend her again, we're going to have to maybe spend $50 or something, or at least roll, uh, make a high, high chance of rolling, which I'm not all about. Now, one problem here, as you can see, is we don't have a server. Um, so, uh, can I serve her myself? Can I do that myself? Beats working in the coal mines. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Let's get some Pemison in, I guess. 16 hours research on that. I, 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 I think, I don't know. Can I drinking rot go? Okay, so she is actually drinking right now. Okay, so like I said, this game's in very, this is like before early access. She did pay money, so F my life. All right. <laughs> okay, okay. I know, I know. You're probably going through some time right now. I do realize that. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Blythe. Uh, but, you know, you'll, uh, it'll get better. I should have used my action points before then, but let's see. Let's take a little bit of a zoom out. I know it's very, very hard to see. You probably can't see anything, but... Uh, I'm taking a look for you. There's nothing out there. No new buildings or anything like that. Blythe, I guess, technically is our first customer. Uh, which, you know, sure. Dude, she's she's eating and drinking even more. Very good. Very, very good. Fire prow Oh my god, the firepower actually comes in with a lot. She's drinking all night and she's eating all night. I mean, I get it. I, I do. But, but don't hurt yourself, sweetheart. <laughs> Please. More fire water she's gotten. Oh, Lord. Uh, let's see. Do we have any servers? Server. Sadie Williams. Good. So Sadie Williams. We can hire her as a server. Now, I don't know if this is a bad idea, hiring all these people and not having much people to do anything with. Or is like, as I'm saying, uh, we're spending all this money every day. The, the cover cost. The cost, right? You catch eyes with Blythe King and they lift their hand to wave. Approach or nod at them. Don't do anything. We'll nod at them. At your gesture, they seem to laugh to themselves, turning away. Oh, God. We're not a very friendly person now, are we? 
We're not a people person. We're everything else in between, but not a people person. All right, next customer. Who is this? Tabitha King. The family member comes in. Looks like uh, Tabitha is here. Hello, Tabitha. Um, it's a very good opinion with us. We did give the family $50, so I don't know. $50, I would have to assume back in these days, would have to at least, I don't know, buy you a house? <laughs> Possibly. We can research some more stuff here. It's going to research a roast jackrabbit. Start getting that in. Um, at least she has her business to stay at, right? I don't know. At least she can still technically make money. Let's go ahead and uh, fast forward some time here a little bit more as we go through. They will do her. Wow, she was here like almost 24 hours. That's crazy. Almost 24 hours. Now, I don't know if that's really going to uh, do anything as far as our uh, wages go. We're still going to be negative here. Who is this? Sadie Williams. That's our server, right? Right? So with our server, does the server go around and actually do stuff? We're like, what does the server do? I'm really not sure. Maybe too many employees at a time here. Um, but we're learning. We're learning as we go, right? Because it does seem like she's getting uh, fire water. She's getting drinks and she's getting food just by sitting here not moving. Pe uh, Pemison. Pemison has been uh, sold. Yep. We are in February 5th of 1840. Oh, God, 1840. It's that far back that we're here. <laughs> All right, there we go. Both kings have came and gone. Um, hello, uh, this would be something that we could, like, if we wanted to pause time and really get into the deep of this with Mick Howard, this would be interesting, because, uh, we could go and we could rob Mick Howard, uh, it just would be pointless, because I guess we couldn't rob his, 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 uh, his cattle, or his sheep, his herd, um, and he doesn't have any money on him. Now, what about the person in the back? Probably his wife or whoever. Um, are you running on the same thing? You are run running on the same thing. So they're, you know, they're, they're passing through town. Hopefully they see a saloon and they're like, oh yeah, you know, this is a good place to be. Tell your friends about us. I don't know. Right. Let's go ahead and research some more stuff. Seems like the booze is going off on a whole nother thing here. So Tangle Leg. Let's get Tangle Leg. That's going to take a day and almost a half to get going. We are at a 14 stress here. It is what it is. And it's probably due to uh, the lack of money. Uh, we are making, I guess, technically minus $27 a day. Uh, it is what it is. But yeah, I think that's where we're going to stop it in today's uh, episode, ladies and gentlemen. This has been day one in our saloon uh, start. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see more of Deadwater Saloon, please, you got to let me know. Hit the like button, comment down below, and I'll be gladly to bring you some more because I think this game is pretty cool. And uh, early access, this game will drop early access in September. And once it does, you can pick it up for yourself, take it for a uh, ride, and maybe we can see some awesome updates in the future for sure. So thank you all so much for stopping by, hanging out with me today. Hope you guys, you guys have a good one, and uh, do as always, take care.